Yo, what up, YouTube? This is Knowledge. I'm going to play Spartan Assault today. It just came out today. I'm so excited. I actually installed Windows 8 just to play this shit. I do not have a Windows 8 phone or tablet or anything. Uh, but <laughs> I have to do what I have to do. Let's go. Baby. Now, I'm not a PC player, so I might have some trouble with the controls at first. Yeah, I know they didn't have any controllers set up for this. Just standard PC stuff. Greetings, Spartan. I'm Roland, UNSC Infinity's AI. We're going to study the historical battles in hopes of increasing your tactical skills for the future. As a bonus, it's a pretty fun game you can play in your spare time. So let's get to it. Yeah, let's get to it. Let's go. Okay, so that was the intro. Let's just start. Loading up records for the Battle of Drathius V. The fighting started when a splinter sect of Covenant ignored the ceasefire of 2552 and attacked UNSC forces. By the time the fighting was done, well, it didn't end well for the UNSC or the Covenant. Either one. Spartans Davis and Palmer were both stationed on Drathius V's moon at the time of the first attack. Let's see how they succeeded in repelling the first assault waves. Wow, this is that's really good CG. I mean, even just for just for being a uh, like tablet based game or whatever, it it look really good. You you best believe I'm gonna make a movie out of this. If there's enough cutscenes, so you guys stay tuned for that. Alt Magnum. Okay, so it's, it's upgrade base, it seems like. Ooh. I don't have enough for that. So I have 650 XP, I need a thousand. Alright, let's just get to it. Worry about that later. Back in the day when I was a kid, I used to like Smash TV. It was a lot of fun. Objective 
Magnum's like Halo 1 Magnum, fucking sniper. Nice. There's five missions per one. I'm gonna do two. Cause I got more XP now. Oh, so I want you to pay money. No. Save up for that sniper though. out of here.
hopefully it gets a little harder. I wouldn't want it to be this easy. Alright, the UNSC's research facility Alpha was constructed at the base of an ancient forerunner structure recently discovered by the UNSC. When it became clear the Covenant were heading to the forerunner structure, UNSC command feared Alpha facility would be crushed. The Covenant were relying heavily on dropship insertion and Spartan Davis realized they would be vulnerable to focused anti-aircraft fire. So he began establishing air defenses west of the Alpha facility at a location designated Glacial Perch. Unfortunately, the Covenant had identified the need to secure this area, and when Davis arrived, Glacial Perch was swarming with grunts and elites. Come on, man, I'm getting my sniper already. You guys didn't see the beginning there. The whole point of the game is that you're you're a Spartan Infinity reliving like classic battles. Redoing another.
Sniper. Okay. Oh, they just went changing weapons. Up. I'm gonna just save up. I don't know why I use my money on the stupid shield. Let's see how much this money is again. That's how they get you guys. That's how Microsoft gets you. You look at a purchase this stuff. Oh uh, yeah. If it was free to play it, maybe that'd be different, but I can't believe that. Whatever. The game's fun so far, I just wish it was a little bit harder. Because I, I, I suck at, at PC to begin with. And it's still pretty easy. The graphics are pretty amazing though, for what it is. I, I can't wait to see it on, on, like, on a phone. This would be a perfect game. Just to play, like when you're at the bus stop, going somewhere. There was a rave to clear the path. Let's go. Objective complete. Yes, thank you. All right, I like this. Troll feels pretty good too.
100 XP. Alright, this is the last one of this one. Covenant owned the moon, but despite the ferocity of the assault on X50, the UNSC base, Andreathus V had no idea anything was afoot because the planet's unique magnetic resonance frequently made off. World communication nearly impossible. Spartan Davis fought to hold the line on X-50. Spartan Palmer executed her plan to depart to Drathus 5, or V, and warned them to, of the inevitable covenant invasion of the colony. Palmer ordered marines in the area to fall back to the Hornet landing zones. Only six marines made it there alive. They held out against an overwhelming covenant force until Palmer managed to escape. Oh, the shotgun? Let's go. Finally. Sniper? Alright, I'm saving my points. I need to get that sniper. Don't care about anything else but that. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm not fucking with these. I don't know. Can you guys still hear sound?
not. They didn't learn. <laughs> okay, keep bringing them in. I don't know why they didn't do it from the get go, but. Does this work here? Fucking sucks in every other Halo game. I like that. He knows it has a shotgun, so he backs up. Oh, 
What? I was getting. Why do you wait? Oh man. Jesus. This is ridiculous. I cannot believe that. I was running to the Hornet. Alright, that's it. Incoming. Can't get a fucking checkpoint or some shit? Alright, so the Hornet lands on the on the landing on the landing pad. Okay. You would have known on the landing pad, that's where that's where it lands. What the fuck, man? We're about to have death! I don't even need a sniper with this fucking army. I believe they finally made it a good game. Guns suck every Halo game and they keep putting it every Halo game is always there. Because you need an assault rifle. Oh! Hey, you didn't like those barrels, did you, bitch?
sniper from here. As Spartan Davis continued fighting on the moon, Spartan Palmer and a handful of UNSC troops redeployed to the surface of Dracius 5 to fend off the invaders there. Outman, outgun? Spartan Palmer didn't see it as a problem. How about you? Spartan Palmer was successfully in warning, was successful in warning Drathus V of the coming attack. The Covenant assault hit the colony's defenses like a tidal wave. Drathus V's main outpost, Faraday Base, was located in the border of an expanse of dense vegetation to the north and an enormous rock plateau to the south. The Covenant invasion force eventually arrived. The first defense lines surrounding Faraday were quickly breached before the base's sentry turrets were fully operational. Bomber took the field and almost single-handedly held off all the ways of Ungoy suicide units crashing down on the thick concrete wall behind the defense lines. Ready? <laughs> Alright, man, give me my sniper already. Please. Nine! Oh, come on! Oh, I still need 100 points. Let me go back and look at the controls again real quick. Okay. I don't know why I can't use that start one. Armor ability.
I'm not even gonna read these guys, it's just like generic missions. <laughs> you wanna watch it, you wanna read it, pause it. Get to the fucking action. Ooh, Jewel SMGs. 50 more for the sniper still. Armor abilities, my stun blast. Okay. Stun blast out. Some ammo. I don't know, I like my magnums. Uh, I'll take the shotgun. It's all rifle. The other stuff here. You gotta love video games, this is like one of the safer. I'm out of ammo though. 
Yeah, one elite already. Yeah, that's what happened. Really slow. Target. Oh, 
This is the one we ever powered. Red thing on the beacon, right? <laughs> get these guys first. I wasn't even looking at the radar like an idiot.
kidding me? He's down there? Hello? Hello? Okay. Is it working again? Yeah. Windows 8 is so buggy, guys. I don't... <laughs> keep losing the sound. No wonder nobody has fucking Windows 8.
fucking work on the game. last one and then uh we'll see the next little video i'll definitely live stream the rest tomorrow it's not that long but it's def definitely a fun game i think i mean I, I wouldn't buy just a phone just to play it but if you can install windows 8 on your computer i, I installed it uh dual boot so i still have my windows 7 once i'm done with the game erases windows 8 the scorpion oh
god, this is so weird. The ghost, the ghost goes hard. Even though the battle was going in the Spartans' favor, Drathius V had a surprise in store. Its moon wasn't a moon at all. It was a forerunner creation designed to build and destroy entire planets. Nobody knew about this until the Covenant cult leader found a way to reactivate the old Forerunner tech and start disassembling Drathius V. It was Spartan Davis's job to shut down the device. Sick. All right, guys, I'll be back tomorrow. Uh... The stream will be uploaded if you want to watch it. If you can't watch it live, but I'm done for the night. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.